I'm Lindsay Hyatt, your Paso Robles community reporter. While Thanksgiving is often a holiday spent with good company and food, for those who spend the day alone or simply can't afford a Thanksgiving feast, it can be a hard day. That's why for the past 40 years, the Thanksgiving for Paso Robles committee has put on a free holiday banquet for the community. Thanksgiving in Paso Robles is just like any other holiday, except that instead of making enough to feed a family, my daughter and her family are coming to join me. One group is prepping for the whole community. They started out the first year serving roughly 50 people, and it's now blossomed into this event where we intend to serve 1,500 meals. Misty Epperson is on the Thanksgiving for Paso Robles committee and told me what to expect on Thanksgiving Day. We transform the Centennial Park event room into a restaurant. We have wait staff that will take your order and bring food to you and drinks and it's just an amazing Thanksgiving meal. She said the committee depends on volunteers to put an event of this scale together. To run this event, we need over 200 volunteers and we still have roughly 40 spots open. Those volunteers help prepare, serve, and even deliver the food. They may not get a Thanksgiving meal if we didn't bring it to them. While delivery is an option for those who can't come in person, she hopes people will come dine with fellow community members. We're hoping this year that we have more people come and enjoy our dining experience. Um, it's been a couple of years since COVID and we just are really hoping to bring back that community and have as many people as we can come down and enjoy a meal. For more information on volunteering or reserving a to-go meal, head to KSBY.com. In Paso Robles, Lindsay Hyatt, KSBY News.